we were just emailed that the case has been dismissed by the lawyer, so we're gonna call him right now. wasn't working. I was waiting for man long and it's like, yo, I'm not gonna be on time. So I went back to the crib and uh, did it from there, but the internet wasn't the working. The internet, the internet wasn't working and I didn't know how to fucking, I couldn't tether my iPhone and I figured out how to tether the, the pixel. So plan D worked. <laughs> Always have, always have a backup plan, and then backup plans for the backup plans, and then maybe one more backup plan. Now you're back. I don't know. I still think this was a good idea. Where's my other Batman shit, nigga? We need to go back to Party City, man. The most fun I had in the last three years was that time we were in Party City. Like, it, it, it beats everything. Everything I've done over the last three years. And that's not disrespectful to anything else I've done. That's just, Party City is fucking lit, man. Right, I wasn't there, unfortunately. I, I, we were dressing up. It is lit. Dancing. It is lit. And it was like so much, it was, yeah. it was just a wonderful experience. America, man, this is in Party City. Where's he gonna get shit like this? You're not. Cornelius Ketone came from a Party City visit. Cornelius Ketone, Black Robin. Lab of creativity. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's Bella here. I want to, uh, for my business, we want to get more, like, um, I want to follow up with leads via uh, phone, either for high ticket stuff or whatever. You know, we, we've done a little bit of that. Uh, I wake up. Depending on, like, we doing a lot of traveling. So I just came from, uh, man, I was like in five cities in like 11 days. And I, I was doing some speeches and uh, I went to a mastermind. I try to wake up early, uh, sometime between five, six. If I get to bed early enough, it's four. I probably do uh, some kind of workout, do some reading, try to get to the office before early if I can, but I haven't been doing it recently. Cause, uh, but, uh, Ideally, I get to off and start working before we have our morning meeting at, at 10. Then I just get to work on whatever the tasks are. Uh, try to get a, a workout in, another workout in in the afternoon, around three. Uh, but we film that, you know, so, so it's content, you know, like, you know, so we're probably, we're probably filming around three and working out. So like last, last month we did just under in total revenue. Uh, the month before that we did like we want to be able to crush everyone. It's not. It's not an execution problems. Like we, I, I think there's some stuff that we don't know, and it, we don't know that we don't know. And like I've done a lot of studying. I think I'm. I think I'm really, really, uh, really good. Yes. Yeah. Uh, sales call. I mean sales training call. You know, we just want to get. I mean, sales, as far as business, man, sales is marketing and sales. If you can do those things, if you can't do those things, you don't have a fucking business. Like, I don't even want to say that the most important thing is like, it's foundational. Like, if you cannot bring, if you cannot get people to exchange currency for what, what, what you're about, what you're, you're offering, then you don't have a business. You have a fucking hobby uh, at best, you know, but, like we got overhead penthouse penthouse office in Manhattan. We got a this bunch a of badass employees, bro labs, bro labs, and they gotta they gotta eat food and wear clothes, right? So we gotta uh, and 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 I I give them money to do that. <laughs> uh, so you know we got we got to get the we got to get the registers this running. You know, um, one thing about sales and marketing is what's important. So that's that's foundational, but the product is more is, is important. The product, having a good product, 
is, is more important. Okay, so it first starts with a good product. Because if you, if you have good marketing and a bad product, then you'll just show more people how much you suck. You know, and uh, that ain't good. You don't want to spoil your reputation, but if you give a good product, then the marketing doesn't need, the marketing doesn't have to be the greatest uh, because, you know, the, it'll be word of mouth and, you know, like Tesla doesn't have an advertising budget. You know, uh, you never seen, a, you don't see Lamborghini commercials, you know, uh, it speaks for itself, man. It's just quality, quality speaks for itself. Having that said, if you have both, then you're fucking, um, then you're Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Then you're like the man. Like Michael Jordan had a million commercials and a million stuff. You know what I'm saying? But he was also the best. Does that makes sense. Like Apple, uh, you know, depending on who you ask, they make some of the best products. You know, um, I'm a PC guy. That's because I built my computer, right? So that's like I'm, I'm an outlier. But like for the general consumer, you're probably better off buying a Mac. You know. Um, and they have rapid fans, but they also have a big uh, advertising budget. You know, I I have iPhone and a Pixel, right? I'm, but a lot of people consider iPhone to be the best phone. A lot of people consider it like, um, and they have a huge advertising budget. And they're the most, I think, as of as of when when the iPhone Seven came out, they they broke a record. They were the most profitable company in the history of the world no no bullshit you know so it's like if you got the quality it, whether you think it's the best or not it's quality like you're not gonna buy a fucking new mac that sucks you know you're not gonna buy your yeah, iphone doesn't suck at, at the very least it's quality you know um whether you think you know pixel is better or something else is better that can be that's, that can be argued but it's definitely quality so if you match fucking high quality with great marketing they have some of the best marketing ever that's steve jobs commercial when they, you've seen a Steve Carter commercial where he's like got motherfucking Gandhi and Martin Luther King and John Lennon, that shit is a fucking incredible. You know that I mean that's incredible marketing, incredible. Or like the the, the they have the, the one of the most famous commercials of all time, where uh, it's based off the movie 18, you know, 19, whatever, one of those movies, and they. <laughs> The guy, the bitch, swings a hammer into a screen or some shit. I don't know. The George Orwell book, and that was it's whack now. You see, but at the time it was groundbreaking. When the Macintosh came out, it was the first commercial for the Macintosh computer, and it was groundbreaking. You got the quality and the marketing. Apple has amazing commercials, amazing ads. Like, or when you see those shot by iPhone billboards, the pictures look fucking lit. It makes you think, damn, I was, maybe, <laughs> shit, maybe I need to get out of here and start fucking taking some photographs. <laughs> These joints is lit. You know, um, they don't tell you all the accessories that are on the phone, though. You know what I'm saying? But, but anyway, the advertising is lit. You know, um, the Pixel has a better camera. Make a funny face. <laughs> Personally, I'm fucking with that pixel image, right? Like, look at the like the the contrast, the the color. Like, it's sharper. Yeah. It's uh, I'm fucking with the pixel image. Now, if we do it in low light, with bad light, that that was decent lighting. We had a fucking like I think that's better, right? Come on, man. Look at the low light performance. It looks bright. It looks like it doesn't look like bad lighting. This looks like it's noisy. It's I say, but how this is gonna sell way more. It's still a good camera. It's still one of the best cameras you can buy. Pixel ain't got the marketing. Pixel ain't got the marketing that um, Apple does. Google, don't, can, Google can't market like Apple, man. You know what I'm saying? We were just emailed that the case has been dismissed by the lawyer, so we're gonna call him right now. That would mean that Brandon is is winning one again. So hang on, let's just let's see. See when you win, you just you winning begets more winning. It took him long enough. It took him long. It was, it was a game of chicken. Michael. Yeah, Jim, I'm here with Brandon. Hey, guys. Jim, what up? What's going on, brother? What we won? Yeah, man. We, hey, man, we're the winner. We're the winners. The winner team, man. Victory. I have just submitted a dismissal for signature. A judge signed a copy. Should be available online starting at some point tomorrow. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Thank you so much, Jim. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks, Michael, for all your help to get me all that information. Absolutely, man. Take care. It's justice, it's justice man. Like.
righteousness, freedom, justice. It's not always a straight line. No. It's up. It doesn't look like this. Progress looks like this. But if you don't give up and you keep fighting, you'll eventually reach the mountain top. I want this to be a lesson to all the children. All the children, whether you live in America um, or the United States. I want you to know that sometimes things happen. It's not fair. It's not right. But justice, justice will prevail. Justice will come out on top. Justice over the long haul will work in your favor. I believe Martin Luther the King said it best when he said, fuck what you heard, I'm getting mine. And when I heard those words, I thought, Martin Luther the King is right. This is a Chucky Beat production. production. Business dinner we headed to with some uh, potential clients and shit. Um, yeah. <laughs>